What's good y'all? Welcome back to a brand new video as my phone goes off literally right as I start recording. <laughs> what the hell is it? Oh, Xavier just uploaded a video to Mars. So that's gonna be good. <laughs> uh, anyway guys, so, as you guys know, today is Christmas. Tis the season and all that jazz. I, I would be wearing a Christmas hat if I had one, so y'all want to stick with the Lego snapback. <laughs> Lego's playing today. So, um, yeah. <laughs> we, so, for Christmas, of course, you guys, you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Or Twitter, I think I posted this actually. Um, you guys know I picked up, my mom picked me up Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as well as The Last of Us Part 1 you know, remaster. Now, I don't know why it's in this big ass box for two games, but I don't know, maybe this is the Assassin's Creed Collector's box for all I know. So, I guess what? I mean, my name is on it, so that should be interesting. I'm really curious to see what's actually in this, because I don't think it's that just that for just two games. shaving kit or whatever, probably unbox that too, just because why the hell not. Also, you guys may notice we're back to the old setup with my old camera from my um, original laptop, that's because mom also got me a new AC adapter for it. Uh, I was wondering if it was the AC adapter or my been something to charge, but thankfully it was just the AC adapter on the old one, so we're back in business. Thank Christ. Holy hell, that, that game. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh shit! It is the Assassin's Creed Collector's Box! I ordered this like two days ago! How is it already here? And yet Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the last was in here! What the fuck? Yo! Yep, the Assassin's Creed Collector's Box! Yo! Yo! I literally just ordered this like two or three days ago! How'd this already get here? What the fuck? Yo, how did this get here already? Yet yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and the Last of Us ain't gonna come until like the 28th or whatever. That is so fucking strange that this came in before, yet I ordered this later. Compared to when my mom ordered the Last of Us for me. That is strange, but A, here we are, man. Here's the Assassin's Creed Collector's Bus. I guess I won't be playing Valhalla today. Which got because my mom said, oh, you have something from GameStop came in. I thought it was the games. I legit thought it was the games I ordered because I ordered that before this. No! <laughs> I mean, I guess it was kind of a giveaway from how big the box was. I'm like, this can't be these the games. They can put in a box this big just for two games, but... Hey. Which, by the way, weird thing is there are, like, no unboxings on this on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Unless there's something I'm missing, so hey. So I might just call this video the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Collectors and... The Assassin's Creed Collector's Box unboxing. So yeah, man, here it is. Here it is, the Assassin's Creed Collector's Box. <laughs> I'm shocked this actually came in beforehand. So, cause I was wondering, oh, I'm gonna play AC Valhalla and then watch all these movies, cause I was gonna, cause I'm currently watching uh, Black Christmas right now, which I haven't seen before. So, cause I thought, okay, you know, it's on for free. It's free on YouTube. I'll watch it on Christmas. Cause fuck it, why not? So that, I also was going to watch, you know, of course, watch, of course, Home Alone and Die Hard, because they're both Christmas movies. If you don't think Die Hard's a Christmas movie, fuck you. So you had that, and also I also had the uh, new Christmas, the new Black Christmas movie that came out, like, last year or whatever, also recording off the of HBO, so I'll be watching that, if not today, tomorrow. So, I guess I won't have to worry about that, just gonna, I guess I can just sit down and watch the games, and then just flip flop the movies between that, I guess, I don't <laughs> I'm still shocked this came out first, but before we jump right in, ladies and gentlemen, we are tackling something Assassin's Creed. So this, of course, requires a specific blade. Ah! Yeah, buddy, we are breaking out my Assassin's Creed Origins hidden blade, motherfuckers. If you guys might remember when I bought the game... A few moments later... When I bought the game... I also got this alongside with it, or at least around the same time frame when I got this. I might have gotten this before, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I think I actually got this on my birthday with WWE 2K18, now that I'm thinking about it. I know I did an unboxing of this, so you guys have to check to get the dates yourself. Um, 
when I got this in comparison to this. But yeah, man, I have been actually, I've only used this like a couple of handful of times, like especially when I played Origins, when I got Origins, of course, I was wearing it all the damn time, but now it's just been kind of chilling in my closet for all, for three, for probably like three years now. But yeah, man, it's still surprisingly like fits. And yeah, man, so actually, funny story about this hidden blade, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys, which first off, fucking cool, right? So actually, before we jump right in and unbox the, oh, the Assassin's Creed Collector, I'll do it before it hits my finger again. So, funny story. Now you guys know of you, of course, if you actually pay attention to the Assassin's Creed lore. You guys may know, you remember that with the, with the early hidden blades up until Assassin's Creed 2 and the Renaissance and everything, you would always have to like sacrifice your ring finger to the blade to show your loyalty to the blade or your dedication or whatever. You had to make a sacrifice to the blade via your ring, ring by via cutting off your ring finger. We all know this. This is my thing. That's why in, or in fucking Valhalla, the blade's up here, so you don't have that problem. But anyway. So, and, but, so, and funny story, so when I actually got this blade, I was fucking around with it. I legit, like, one time it kind of, like, just popped out. And what it did, it actually, like, cut up my ring finger, like, right around here. Legit broke the skin, and it was actually bleeding a little bit, too. So, even the plastic ones, even these fake ones, still de desire the sacrifice of the ring finger. They still want the blood of your ring finger. I found that so funny and so ironic. I found that so funny that actually it hit me right in my ring finger. My ring finger and it cut it and everything. That was so fucking funny. I didn't even care about the pain. I was just like, that was just like, wow, it actually cut my ring finger. Holy shit. But anyway, man, enough of this. Let's just, let's just, let's unbox this motherfucker. Like this. Still shot that this came in before the actual game. All right, so here's a better look at the Assassin's Creed collector's box with a little bust of Ezio Vittore da Frienze, one of the greatest assassins ever, man. I love Ezio. So yeah, man. I'll try to get him with the flare. It's also kind of, I also find it weird, really weird that there's like no videos unboxing this thing. Like, I check, there's nothing. Like, legitimately nothing. I'm so, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one. So, first off, we got this Assassin's Creed. Let's see if you see Valhalla on the Assassin's Creed. This Assassin's Creed eight, uh, Apple of Eden stress ball. Now, uh, so now you can now use it. Now you can use the Apple of Eden to relieve your stress, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I'll actually use this thing, but hey, it's a cool collectible for us AC fans, especially one for those of us that are like really into the lore and love the modern day shit. Which I feel like I'm in the minority on that one because I love the modern day and all that shit, especially in the earlier games. So that's fucking cool. I got the Apple of Eden. So yeah. So you got that. I believe this one is the AC Valhalla mug. Let's put this down and get everything else out of it. Uh, this is, this is, uh, I think this is just a lithograph, actually, with, um, all the assassins on it. You got, you got, um, yeah, you got, um, you got Altair, Ezio, Connor, or, Connor, Edward, Connor, uh, Arno, and my man Jacob. I actually love Syndicate. I don't really get the hate for Syndicate. I haven't beaten it yet, but I really dig Syndicate. I don't know why people are hating on that. And Unity, I will say, is low-key very underrated. But then again, it was buggy as hell at launch. You, but nowadays you play it now, it's pretty stable and everything. It's actually very good. You guys have, if you, for some reason, if you guys love Assassin's Creed, you have the new skipped Unity or whatever, give it a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by that. It's kind of had a bit of a resurgence recently. I saw some videos on like, oh, you know, Unity is actually a very good Assassin's Creed game. It's, I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. But hey, you know, all the bugs and everything kind of killed it. You of course got an Assassin's Creed notebook. So, uh, let's 
see what else. We got the last couple of things here. So we have an Assassin's Creed keychain bottle opener. You bet your ass I will be using this because I love Assassin's Creed. Ooh. This actually feels like it's like actual metal, actually. I don't know if it is legit metal, but it looks like real metal, so that's cool. Here, of course, you guys got the Blair, you got the Assassin's logo. Right there. The Ezio bus will, will save for last. Next up, we got the AC Valhalla bandana. Let's see how long this is. Oh, you know, it's actually pretty good, so. You guys know that I'm always rocking this Captain Marvel uh, bandana. This, so, and now with the with the part with editing magic, this this bandana will now appear on my right, on my left hand. So, oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the Assassin's Creed bandana. Uh, got the Assassin's logo, so, you know, hot hidden, but okay. But hey, this feels really nice. Looks cool. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So now I am a true assassin. Got the hidden blade on one side and a bandana on the other. And let's check out the rest of the stuff we got in here. So far, this is actually really, really cool. Ah. I don't like the tabs on these are already bent. Look, they're already like kind of like bent. Probably from the packaging, but whatever. Which one's got bent? <laughs> Figures. It's Jacob fucking, uh, what's her name from Liberation and Evie. Figures. Figures, it's them. But what the sasses no one cares about. I really dug Jake and Evie. But yeah, what's up? I don't know if I've ever actually used this, but hey, it's cool. So you got this one. It says Assassin's Creed tabbed journal. Right there. I think this just comes off. I think anyway. Oh wait, there's just tape on. Here's a look at the cover with Jacob and what looks like Jacob and Ezio on the cover along with uh, Connor, Altair, Edward, and I think that's Evie, although that's probably Arno. Looks really fucking cool. I, like I said, I don't think I'll ever actually use this, but it's a nice collector's item for us Assassin's Creed marks, so it's cool. Got the Assassin's Creed logo on the bottom of it. It looks cool. Like I said, I probably wouldn't use it because I'm not really much of journals guy, but hey, it's, it's cool. It's cool. So yeah, we'll do this, we'll do uh, this like lithograph or whatever it is first, and then we'll go get to the mug, and then we'll end off with the Ezio bust. So, let's see what the hell even is this? Made in China, built by CultureFly, CultureFly.com. Yeah, so if I get, yeah, so if I'm wrong, this looks like it's just like a lithograph. Or something along those lines. Yeah, yeah, this looks like it's just like a lithograph. This I actually want to get framed and yeah, you know, put on my wall actually, because this looks really fucking cool. Yeah, it says, uh, work in the dark to serve, work in the dark to save the serve the light. This is badass. This is actually probably the coolest thing outside the mug and the bandana. This is probably the coolest thing in here, cause, yeah. This is actually something I want to get framed and put on my fucking wall, because this is fucking cool. So, the Assassin's Creed lithograph, So, now let's get to the good shit, let's get to this mug. This one I'm actually probably gonna get the most use out of, cause, I mean, I'm not big of a mug, I'm not big of a coffee guy, I don't go drink coffee at all, but I do drink tea on the occasion, or something else, so, I'll be getting some use out of this. Okay. Alright, just comes out. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yo, 
this feels nice. Yo, this stuff is actually engraved. Or like it's part of the mug. I thought it was kind of something that was printed on there, but no, that's part of the mug. Now, if I remember, I saw from one of the reviews on GameStop that the thing kind of like washes off or whatever in the wash or something. So, definitely be careful on that. But yo, this mug is actually way... I thought this was just like some flat design that they just slapped on the mug. But no, this shit's part of it. This is like engraved into the mug. That's so fucking cool. Oh, I love this shit. It's an assassin. You guys know how much I love Assassin's Creed, man. Even though I haven't really been as big in the series as I usually as I used to be, and you know, Valhalla is really the first game I played since Origins, and I've even beaten Origins. Like honestly, I completely skipped. And it wasn't because I heard from Assassin's Creed like, oh, the game is shit. You're not even an assassin, and all this other shit. I was actually hyped for Odyssey when it came. I was like, ooh, Romans. And uh, then go, but I just didn't get the game at launch. I was just whatever. I still haven't. I still haven't beaten Odyssey at uh, Origins yet, which a lot of that's still like the leveling thing. And just having to sit there to side quests. Oh, like, the side quests are good, but it's like, you go from one level, you know, one mission that's one level, and then the next mission is like ten, three or five levels up. Or, you know, I know it's probably done for them to make you go and do, you know, buy the fucking, um, fucking, uh, uh, animus points or whatever they are for the microtran to exceed your leveling up, but I'm not, but I see right through you, Ubisoft. I am paying for that shit. I will play this game without spending a dime extra than what I already paid the $80 for the gold edition for. So, yeah, same thing will happen with Valhalla, but yo, this mug is so fucking cool! Oh, I'm fanboying so hard right now. This shit, this is, like, way better than I expected. I thought, like I said, I thought this was gonna be, like, some flat design, but nah, motherfucker. They, they, now nah, this shit's, like, engraved into this motherfucker. Or whatever it is, but, yeah. Fucking cool, so yeah, here's what it looks like on the inside. Here's the design, of course, it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla goes across the mug, and here is the bottom. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, culture fly, hand wash only, do not use microwave. Do not microwave. Okay. So, yeah. Fucking cool. This is probably the coolest thing in the, in the thing now. Let me put this back in its box real quick, so I don't risk breaking. I'm going to bring, I'm bring, I'm bring this downstairs. Extra cold water. Let me put it back in the box. So I'm not risk breaking this thing. That is fucking cool. That mug is actually way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Hell fucking yeah. So now I doubt this is the best thing in the box so far. So now, last. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Yes, I refer to him by his full name because you have to. It's Ezio Auditore da Motherfucking Firenze. The greatest assassin to ever live. He's my, he's like, I like most of you. He's my favorite. I love that stuff. Even though I love Connor, I dug Arno, I love Jacob and Evie, I, I dig Altair as the OG. Connor, I really liked, and Edward, I also love. But, SCL's rare sad. He's the GOAT. I don't know, and, um, you know, fucking, uh, Bayek. Bayek from Origins. I really dug him too. I dig him. First time we've actually got Black Assassin for, like, the main, like, you know, outside of the Freedom Pride deal, so that was cool. So yeah, I hope we see more. I hope for the next game, since we've already done Vikings, we've done Romans, we've done HD Egypt. For the love of God, just do Samurais already! Like, I hope you with Ghost of Tsushima and how big that game is, that kind of like got Ubisoft's head out of the rats. I'm like, alright, fine, we'll do Samurai! We'll do Feudal Japan. Like, do I expect to be as good as Ghost? No, because it's Ubisoft versus Sucker Punch. Like, that's a first party Sony developer. Of course, they're gonna have bigger budgets and everything, but. I still want Assassin's Creed with Samurais, and there's a lot you can do. So I just hope with Go, with the success of Ghost, that finally gets Ubisoft out, heads out of the rats, and finally gives us, um, it finally gives us the, um, the Samurai Assassin's Creed game we've all desperately wanted for ages. I mean, a lot of people didn't think we got Ancient Egypt, or Romans, or Vikings, and we got all three of those. I forget which one was, like, really popular, the people wanted that, we were shot down, I think, was it, Vi was it the Viking ones with Valhalla, or was that Ancient Egypt? Or maybe it was all three of them, I don't know. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So this is based, it looks like this is based off his Brotherhood attire. Um, and the Star Brotherhood anyway. Ezio Auditore. Now, I won't lie, the face looks a little off. There isn't really much detailing in it. 
But if you look at it from like this, from like right here, which I think the tire's supposed to look at it, it looks really fucking cool, well, though. You see the face? Yeah, my boy didn't look it so hot, but looking at it from here, looking at it from like here with like the hood dead, it looks pretty cool. So, yeah, man. This looks really fucking, this is cool. This is cool. Like, there's not as much detailing in the face as I feel like there should be for this character, but other than that, this is like a real nice little cool little thing, so. For $40, I would say this was well worth the money. If you guys are a size of pre fan and you're wondering I'm picking this up, I would go for it, man. You got, and come on, this and the Apple of Eden strip. I don't even know if this is one to one scale or not, but if it is, that's cool. But it's cool that we actually have, like, I actually have the Apple of Eden. That's so fucking cool, because you know this, because we all know the significance of this item throughout the Assassin's Creed franchise. So that's cool that we get it as a stress ball. So that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, man. That's all I gotta say on the Assassin's Creed. The Assassin's Creed Collector's Box, ladies and gentlemen. Overall, I am very impressed with it. A lot of nice little, nice little goodies. This mug, this mug especially. <laughs> it's just so fucking cool. But yeah, man. Tell me down below what you guys got for... Oh, wait. I guess I should do that shaving kit while we're here. Might as well, so fuck it. So yeah, let me clear some of this out. Let me put this over there and just see what we got here. Alright, let me open this real quick and see what we got. Might as well over here. This dude's probably got like 20 minutes. Alright, let's see what we got here. Thanks. Oh damn, this shit's in like a legit tin. <laughs> yeah, we go. As boxes are falling everywhere. Yeah, they legit got this in a legit, legit tin. So I'm good. Join the shave. Join the shaving revolution. Okay. Damn, this thing's like really high quality over here. You got this mesh shit. Oh damn, they weren't kidding, this is professional. You got this fucking brush thing. I don't even know what this is for. Uh, you get also this. What is this? A Viking Revolution. <laughs> Figures! I'm doing fucking Assassin's Creed Valhalla Vikings, and this is called Viking Revolution, and we're about to do some raids in AC Valhalla. But yeah, this is a aftershave balm. I doubt I'll even use half of this shit, but hey, it's cool, I guess. This is a pre-shave oil. Okay. I have no idea what Like, I feel this is more meant for dudes that, like, have, like, actual, like, real beards. Rather than just people like me, but... What in the blue hell is this? Is this what's meant to be like a stand for your razor? What is this? Okay, let me put that right there. And we have a sticker. Cool. And what in the blue hell is this? A sandalwood scent. What is this? Soap? I'm at the legit after. Is this soap? What is this? And, um. A little, I guess this is for this. I might just like put this in there and like, I don't even know what half this shit is. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me. Call me in an uncultured smile. Here is your actual razor. Yo, this is legit. Okay, and um, you put the blade in here? Like, how does this thing work? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at, but hey, it's cool. I find it humorous, it's called the Viking Revolution and it just did Assassin's Creed Valhalla. <laughs> I find that to be quite humorous. But yeah, this is cool and uh, cool, what's this? A Japanese Premier Stainless Blade. Is this legit like a razor blade? Hold the fuck up, if it is... Yo, I might be... <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Is this like multiple switch blades? Hold it for multiple ways. Hold it. Okay, no, okay, they're actually individually covered. I don't think I'm gonna open one, but yeah, you get a little razor blade, so. You know what? I will refrain from making that edgy joke. I will refrain, I will refrain, I will refrain. 
I could, but I will refrain. I will refrain. <laughs> I will refrain. Alright, so that's everything in this box. Cool, I guess. I don't even really know what half this shit even is, but it's neat. So, yeah, man. That is all I got to say for that. Is all I got for you guys today. I was hoping to start thinking about streaming Assassin's Creed Valhalla today, but as you can tell, the games didn't come in yet. Or no, they wouldn't come in today because it's a holiday. So I have to wait until you guys. Have to, so I'll have to wait a little bit, a couple days later for AC Valhalla. But hey, man, I was pleasantly surprised by the Assassin's Creed Collector box. Definitely worth it, man. I would definitely recommend you guys check this uh, pick this up if you're an Assassin's Creed fan. And yeah, man. Just tell me down below what you guys got for Christmas. Did you get what you want? Did you get Switch games? Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Watch Dogs Legion? Tell me all that down below in the comments, man. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you like it, if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like it. Links down in the description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.